Brian Shelbrake with Caterpillar and you're with the Excavator Series and this 336F got so many features I can't begin to tell you where to start. Where do we start? Do we start with economics? Do we start with emissions? The fact it's tier four? Where do we start? Well, I, I think the place that we start is we're really building on the success of our tier four iterum solution, the E-Series excavators. So the 336E was the first to the market right. back in 2011. So now we're building on that success, making the machine even better. We focused on a few key areas, one of them being fuel efficiency. So we have a machine that's still a 300 horsepower machine really leading the industry in that size class. Right. And so we wanted to maintain that performance, maintain that productivity that we've had traditionally, but also lower operating costs for that customer. We know fuel bill is, you know, the fuel is one of the largest elements of a customer's well, operating costs. So we've tried to lower the fuel consumption on this machine to really help with the customer economics. And it has so many options available to the operator and the customer alike that you can really set this thing to an echo mode and have it operate almost uh, well, super efficiently, let's yes. put it that way. Yeah, absolutely. What we've done, even in its maximum power mode, right. we've reduced fuel consumption quite significantly. That doesn't take into account the further reduction in fuel that you can get by going into the economy mode, as you mentioned. Okay. So that allows even further fuel savings, especially in applications that may be lighter to moderate duty. Tier 4 Final is adding additional after treatment using diesel exhaust <laughs> fluid, and it's that diesel exhaust fluid that is further reducing the NOx levels, which allow us to meet Tier 4 Final emissions That's levels. CAD technology. Now, operating-wise, from that standpoint, let's talk a bit about the machine itself and what it's capable of as far as uh, the reach and the scoop and, and, and what it'll pick up in a matter of weight and that sort of thing. Absolutely. I mean, one of the key uh, performance attributes of this machine right. that contractors look for in an 80,000-pound size class is all-out digging performance, right. breakout force, the speed, cycle time, payload, and, of course, the amount that that machine can lift. Well, talking about CAD versatility, Brian, is a, is a fact this machine has great control plus many other features. You want to just address those for a second? Sure. We hear from customers and talking to them and what they're telling us. Right. They want to be able to do even more with less. <laughs> Being able to do more with one machine right. and have less, less reliance on other support equipment. So one of the things that we have with this machine is available CAT grade control. And what that is, it's a, it's a, a machine guidance system that allows that operator to set a certain depth and slope of grade and it will actually guide him to that slope depth. Oh. So there's a series of, uh, in the monitor itself, integrated into the machine, are a series of light bars and audible uh, elements to where it'll let him know when he's digging down to a preset grade. So it's a way for that machine to basically, he could set a grade and then you can start to dig down to that set point and it will let him know automatically. All set from the parameters of the design or whatever uh, that project is he's working on. Exactly. For example, if he's in a sewer and water application, wants to set a 10 foot cut depth, he can go into that monitor, bench at a certain point as a reference with the bucket teeth, mm -hmm. and then set a 10 foot depth and can actually start to dig down to that grade, the machine will notify that operator when he's reached that preset grade. It does it with a series of sensors that are in different points of the machine so that he always knows where those bucket teeth are relative to that set point. It can minimize the number of people that are required on the ground, minimizes support sure. for a grade checker, minimize that support, less people on the ground, enhances safety, and allows that operator to work more efficiently and effectively. Efficiently, more quickly, and certainly with a lot more accuracy. Absolutely. So Brian, from an operator's standpoint, you've got two joysticks, Everything is really tight. You've got a screen which gives you all of your pertinent engine operations and the machine functions. And it basically tells you where you're going. What else is there that has been incorporated into the new 336F 
that everybody should be aware of. Okay, the 336F, there's an expansive glass. So the room inside the cab, if you'll notice, it's we, we've opened up the space inside the cab. There's a, a fair amount of glass, almost glass all the way around. Right. It provides good visibility. Mm -hmm. A lot of operators are very different. Um, and to have a seven-way adjustable seat to be able to really make sure that comfortable, that operator is comfortable, mm -hmm. allowing them to be the most productive. So you have independent adjustment of the armrests. You have adjustment of the actual the joysticks up and down relative to the seat. So it allows that operator to get very comfortable to be the most productive at his work. Now there's a few other things on the right-hand console mm -hmm. that uh, we find operators that have, uh, have been very excited about and helps with their overall productivity. We have uh, one of the first buttons on the right-hand side is actually that's a little picture of a fuel gauge and what that is it's a power mode on this machine and that allows the operator to match the work to the actual output power of the engine so for example in light to moderate duty applications that button can be pressed and the machine will actually go into economy mode and what it's doing it's optimizing the machine for lighter to moderate duty work to save even more fuel yet not impact the overall production of the machine. Well Brian it's been a pleasure thanks for having us out and uh, all the best to you with this 336F machine as we go forward. Thank you for visiting. Thank, Thank you. you.